Okay, sort of our tradition is prior to a change of command, we recognize the outgoing commander uh, with his kind of farewell tour award. So we're, we're doing that, but it's kind of it's kind of neat, really, because we're going to say goodbye to Bill and Michelle, but they're not going. All right. the advice of many senior leaders, <laughs> not in the Army, but from the community, <laughs> Tom Denny, uh, I selected Bill to be the next Chief of Staff for this great division, and uh, he and Michelle continue to do great things for this community. <laughs> and for the girls, thank you for what you guys continue to do for your mom and dad. And, uh, you know, this is really a family family affair here, so I'll make this very short. I'll talk about Bill and Michelle a little bit out there at the change of command. Uh, but it's been our great honor to have uh, this great soldier command this great brigade in combat uh, with distinction over the last year plus, so about 26 months in command. And, uh, you know, these guys back here, Drew and Art, I think they'll tell you too, that, uh, and especially Art, I'll say something about Art in this thing here. When, uh, when you're on the ground there, and you know you got Bill and his brigade in support down uh, Regional Command South, which was very, very kinetic, the main effort in Afghanistan. And you got these guys flying over top, led by Bill, great battalion commanders, great soldiers, great pilots, great maintainers. Uh, and you know when you go in, uh, they're going to get you in the right place. If you get hurt, they're going to get you out. And uh, that's pretty incredible. And uh, it was unfortunate we couldn't keep the entire division together. But when we had to put strike down in the south, we knew that uh, Destiny was going to be down there with him, and we felt very good about that. So, you know, it's a, it is a tribute to what uh, you did to get your guys ready to go, and uh, they did incredible over there. Uh, and the Army's recognized that, and uh, you know, I see great things for the Gaylor family uh, and the future of our Army as a senior leader in this Army. And uh, Bill has a passion for uh, his soldiers. He has a passion for soldiering. And uh, again, I'm just happy that we're gonna we're gonna keep building this great division and have some continuity. As everybody else is leaving, Bill and Michelle can stick around and have some continuity. And, uh, and I'm I'm thankful that uh, he's he's gonna take on that challenge. And Michelle, uh, you've accepted that challenge as well because again, it's a family thing here. Um, and the kids, thank you as well. We've got some great folks that come a long distance. I'll talk a little bit about that uh, out there. And I know Bill will tell you that. Uh, he could have done a lot of this without the great support from family and friends and a lot of mentors I've seen running around here that have served with Bill uh, throughout his, his time here. So, again, to keep it short, Bill, thank you very much. Michelle, thank you very much. I'm going to change this up a little because I screwed up last time at Vietz and I forgot Mrs. Campbell. So, Mrs. Campbell, if you go next. Oh, okay. If you would go next. I won't forget. I didn't get to be the CG because I didn't learn after I made the mistake. <laughs> well, Michelle, on behalf of all the families, um, you have done a wonderful, wonderful job. Your caring and your compassion for the soldiers and the families of Destiny is, is, is unequal. We appreciate all that you've done. I appreciate all your advice that you've given me. Your questions. No, but it was always good. You always no, you didn't. You didn't. Whenever you came with something, you always came with a solution, and that's always, always beneficial. But we always knew that you cared. You know, you worked with the lab committee. You were always out and about and into things. But more importantly, I mean, the care that you gave to these families is surpassed. And we thank you for all that you've done. I know it was a tough year, but you. Handle this deployment with grace and strength, and we thank you. And look forward to your next. <laughs> next, keeping track of a bigger group of families. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to give you a small take in um, from me to say thank you for all that you've done and for your friendship. From you.
publish orders. Attention to orders. Mrs. Michelle N. Gaylor is awarded the Outstanding Civilian Service Medal for outstanding service to numerous activities and social organizations dedicated to improving the quality of life for the soldiers and families of the Destiny Brigade from February 2009 to June 2011. Her love for soldiers and families has done much to sustain this brigade since 2009 and during the brigade's recent deployment to Afghanistan. Her untiring efforts and dedication to maintaining stability for the families of soldiers exemplifies her critical role as a member of the Army family team. Mrs. Gaylor's generosity, dedication, and selfless contributions are in keeping with the finest traditions of service and reflect great credit upon her, the 101st Combat Aviation Brigade, the 101st Airborne Division Air Assault, and the United States Army. Signed, John F. Campbell, Major General, United States Army Commanding. piece of ribbon here say uh, say thanks for the great service your dedication your professionalism uh, and your passion for, for what you do every single day. Post orders. Attention to orders. The Legion of Merit is being presented to Colonel William K. Gaylor, 101st Airborne Division, for exceptionally meritorious service as the brigade commander while deployed in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. His exceptional performance, dedication to duty, and selfless service greatly <coughs> contributed to the overall mission success. Colonel Gaylor's distinctive accomplishments reflect great credit upon himself, the United States Army, and the Department of Defense from 27 February 2009 to 28 June 2011. By order of the Secretary of the Army, signed David M. Rodriguez, Lieutenant General, United States Army, Deputy Commander Yusuf Afra.
all the company FRG leaders and volunteers, they are where the rubber meets the road. They do all the heavy lifting. And I can't thank them enough because they really take care of those families. And I um, uh, can't, can't say thank you enough. Um, we have fabulous month. Our mentors here and Nancy Colt, who was the most amazing brigade advisor. And I could never, ever, ever have lived up to what you did. And um, I you know, tell her all the time, I'm sorry when we were a battalion if I did things that made your life miserable because <laughs> now from this view, I, can, I see things a little differently and, uh, and I want to thank you so much. Um, my fabulous girls who are growing up into amazing young women and have endured so much of this military you know, change and everything and I just I appreciate you girls. I love you so much. I'm very proud of you. And okay, I'm almost to the end. <laughs> our family and friends, and mostly our Army family, um, and that's what it is. And it's always about the people. That's the hardest part of changing command, is leaving the people that you love. Um, we're so blessed to be able to hand them to family, because Paul and Kelly really are family to us too. And we know that they're going to do great and wonderful things with this brigade. So, I don't know if Paul and Kelly are in here, but if you are, Get ready, jump on, hang on, <laughs> it's a ride of your life, and, and I just want to thank everybody. Okay, I'm done. Bernie Harrington, the S3, Jason Roncaroni, somewhere out there is the XO that flew in for this ceremony. Uh, the, the trio that was the best I had ever seen uh, certainly made my job easy. And to Sergeant Major Bahari, uh, wherever he is right now, the finest NCO I've ever served with. Uh, and it's a pleasure for me to call him friend. To General Campbell and all the general officers here, unbelievable uh, collection of talent. And I want to thank you for the command climate. It's the best I've ever seen. And to my family, I have a few words for you in the ceremony, but uh, it will not do justice. I love you very much. Good.